Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I've currently got an eighth grader, a fourth grader, a kindergartner, and a pre k -er. And on this channel, I like to talk to you guys about secular homeschooling, but also a little bit about motherhood, having a larger family, traveling with a large family, and everything in between. Today's video is one that I've been promising to share with you guys, and that is how we are using Khan Academy for our math right now, currently. Okay, so if you are um, not aware, we started the year using um, Matthew C for my fourth grader. We've been using the Matthew C program since the beginning of our um, homeschooling career, which has been nine years now, um, on and off. So we haven't, we've, We've used a good portion of it, but sometimes we would switch to something else just because my kiddos felt like they wanted to switch it up. Uh, most recently, we tried um, Nicole the Math Lady, which we loved. We loved Nicole the Math Lady, but she uses the Saxon program, and we really did not like the Saxon program. Um, so we her, had to switch gears, and um, she didn't want to go back to Matthew C., and so I was just kind of looking for something. They, they kind of are leaning towards this like computer base was what they kind of like doing. Um, I like that because the, you know, the instruction is over there and I don't, not that I can't teach it, it's just, just that it that frees up time for me. Um, and so I stumbled a pro, uh, well, we started using Khan Academy for the big history project, um, which is, you know, for like, um, history and there covers a little bit of science too and so we started using it in conjunction with that and I found out you know that was like the first time I really like dive deep into the to the program and I found that we really liked it so I was looking for something for them to do to just fill the time while I was looking for some other math program and we stumbled across Khan Academy's math and it seems to be working pretty good for us do I think that I'm going to continue this like long term forever I'm not really sure um, but for right now it's working really well for us so I'm going to show you what how we're using it what we're doing um, and so I'm going to set up the computer and we'll jump over there all right, so this is Khan Academy. I'm not logged in. I don't have my students logged in right now. I might change that in a minute, but this is just what you'll see when you come here. Um, and here, over here is courses, and this is where you can find all the courses that Khan Academy offers. And you can see it's a quite extensive list. Um, and we've been using it and really, really liking it. Um, and so, what we are currently using is this get ready for fifth grade um, program for my fourth grader. She finished Matthew C's um, gamma level, which is multiplication. Um, and so I wanted her to kind of have a little bit more practice. She, we may be going back to Matthew C for her, but I'm not sure yet. But she's been using this get ready for fifth grade. It's been going really well. So my oldest has been using this get ready for algebra one, um, which she we've already done um, pre-algebra with Matthew C. And so I just felt like, you know, just to get a little bit better, firmer grasp on it. Because um, what we had started was algebra one with um, Ma Nicole the math lady and Saxon and she just hated it and she was really resistant to it and so I don't know how much she like really absorbed so I just wanted her to do this get ready for algebra one and we're just going to start algebra one over for her freshman you know ninth grade year um, and so we've been doing this algebra one because we do school year round so she'll finish this program up before we start algebra one in August so I'm just going to um, pop into the fifth grade get ready for fifth grade for right now as you can see it's divided up into units and if you hover over these little boxes it will tell you what they you know what concept are they working on at that point um, and then so let's just click on the first one place value and here over on this side which is the left side um, there are videos that you can watch um, but it just brings them straight to the practice problems um, and so what I have my kiddos do since, you know, mostly what we're doing is kind of review for both of them is they try the problems. And then if they can't figure out a problem right here, it already links the video that they need to watch to do the problem. So if they don't understand something, I'll have them watch the video that's right here. Um, and then if beyond that, like if they don't understand it beyond that, then they will call me over to help them. 
I will say that I am helping a little bit more with them using Khan Academy than I have with like the Matthew C or even the Nicole the Math Lady. Um, well, maybe probably about the same as as I was with that because she really did not like sex and it really did not go well. So I was helping a lot with that. Um, so I am helping so, like I'm, I feel like I'm helping a lot more than I did with like when they were using Matthew C where I would like help them the first day and then they would kind of figure it out the rest of the time. This is kind of more I have to kind of, you know, be there for guidance and assistance, you know, every day as they're doing it. But for the most part, they get it and they understand. So I was having them do it's, it's normally like four to ten problems and I was making them do it until they got a full box so let's um I'm gonna go through real quick I'll probably like speed this up I'm gonna go through real quick and answer these problems so you can see what I'm talking about so as you can see here this box is full which means that um I my understanding in this area is proficient it's completely done so i'm going to go to the next one and i'm going to show you what happens even if they miss one question so even if they miss just one question it will show that they are familiar with the exercise so when we started i was trying i was making them get um all full boxes and they were getting very frustrated with that because even if they missed just one question out of seven or eight, it would give them automatically a half box. And so I have since changed my thing or my, you know, they have to at least get a half box and then I can go in on my end and see how many they got right. And if they only missed one, then they are allowed to move on to the next one. If they miss more than one, then they do have to go back and complete that section. The great thing is if I pull this up again, um, and click this, oops. If I go and do this one again, let's see, is that the right one? Okay, so if I go back here and, and go to do it again, um, it will give me a whole new set of problems. The problems are completely different. And so I really like that about this program because that way they're not, you know, they're not getting the same questions every single time. Um, and then just, you know, remembering the answers and going and filling in and like they're actually having to show me that they, that they understand the information again. So I think it is very, I love that about it. Like, and I like that it's only a certain number of questions. Now what I was originally doing when we started was making them do like three boxes or two boxes depending on which child it was um, and that I was finding they were getting like frustrated about. So now what we're doing is they're setting a timer for 20 minutes. If that 20 minutes goes off um, and they are done with their, you know, like they've completed their a minimum of one to two boxes. Um, then they're allowed to stop. But if they're in the middle of a, you know, like they're in the middle of a set of, of questions, when that timer goes off, they just have to finish that set of questions because it doesn't save, like if you stop in the middle, it doesn't save your work. So if they had done five out of seven problems, it's not gonna count. So I make them, they have to finish, you know, the next two problems. And then whenever they're finished with that box, um, they can move on or they can be done for the day. So they have to do a minimum of 20 minutes. It normally ends up being closer to like 25, 30 minutes because they're, it's normally while they're in the middle of a box and they're still getting about that like two to three things done, but they feel like it's not so much um, when it's, you know, just 20 minutes. But then I can go in on my end and see like the work that she's done, where she might be struggling, things that I can, uh, you know, look at and adapt and add and, and you can do assignments and stuff um, and all of that on your teacher end. Honestly, I haven't been doing that much with that. I just want them to be completing their assignments and then at the end I can print that out and put that in to their portfolio. Um, but not, if I'm making sure that they're completing those boxes and getting those um, boxes, you know, mostly full, 
uh, then I think that that is enough and we move on to the next thing um, and and it's been working really well for us uh, so here's the getting ready for algebra one it's the same thing they have their boxes they go and click they they do the problems if they need help with something there's a video linked right here at the at the bottom of each problem where they can go and watch the video and get help and then if they watch the video they don't understand then they'll come get me and it's just it's working really well for us for like you know this intermediate time where my my um fourth grader has finished her math curriculum for the year but I don't want her to stop but we're not quite ready to move on you know she could use a little extra practice it's working great for her for my older daughter who was frustrated with how much time Saxon was taking us because it was taking us over an hour every day which was not working and I tried limiting the number of days we did it it just nothing worked nothing nothing worked for us with that this is 20 minutes a day you know maybe a little bit more but it's so much going so much better so much simpler um and yeah so we have been really enjoying using khan academy for math um i'm also really en enjoying using it for um the big history project which has been great um so i am actually looking at things here on khan academy for building um things or courses for my oldest for even her high school career because if you come here at courses you can see like they have um, middle school biology but then they also have if you scroll down here they have high school biology high school chemistry like it's all here and even if we're just using this as like a guideline um, I think it, it it's going to be very valuable information and what's really nice is there are quizzes and questions here that are already done for me so even if I'm not using you know like the exactly the videos and everything from here maybe we're using videos from you know somewhere else uh, like Crash Course, which I love, by the way, um, we can still come here and answer some questions and I can check her understanding without really having to do a lot of work on my end, you know, or buy a curriculum that maybe not, might not be the best fit for us or something that I have to grade. You know, this does the grading for you, which is something that is so helpful. As a former um, public school teacher, one of the worst parts of the job was all the grading you had to do. So um, any help you can get with that is always amazing. So that is how we are using Khan Academy for math. We are also using it for other areas. I will continue to be using it. I may do another video like as I'm getting ready, setting up my my new year for my kiddos. If I, I th I'm leaning towards using Khan Academy as like a spine for our biology course for my daughter. And so if I do that, I will obviously be sharing that with you. If you guys have any questions about like the back end, because I didn't really share that with you guys here. Again, I haven't been using that a ton other then you can link Khan Academy to Google Classroom um, like so you can assign assignments through Google Classroom um, and I'm gonna be experimenting more with that because you guys if you don't know I love using Google Classroom with my older daughter to assign things so that I don't have to you know like it's all in one spot here and I don't have to explain it to her or tell her what to do she can go and see what to do she doesn't need me for that so um the fact that it integrates seamlessly with with uh google classroom is a plus 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 for me um so yeah that's what we've been doing for math it's working fine it's working great is it perfect maybe not um their videos are kind of like droll in my opinion like they're not super exciting um they could work on that but it's working for us right now and honestly Matthew C Mr. Demi he's he can be funny but it, you know they're not the most exciting videos that either and my kids are used to that and so it's fine it's working um and yeah so we're going to continue using it for now and I'm probably going to use Khan Academy more in the future so I will keep you guys updated on that if you have any questions let me know down in the comments while you're down there I hope you would subscribe to this channel ring that notification notification bell and give this video a thumbs up and if you've used Khan Academy I'd love you to share your experience down below because the more information people have the better it will be and don't forget you can always chat with me or check up you know follow along with us over on Instagram at homeschoolology and I hope you'll come back and chat with me again really soon and I'll talk to you guys later bye